kids don't grow up these days wanting to be truck drivers anymore. Not like back in the day. When I was a kid, I couldn't wait to be a truck driver. My uncles were truck drivers. I, I wanted to get behind the wheel. So it's a generational thing, it's, got, it's gone as well? Yeah, it's gone, definitely. Hi, I'm Lawrence Bolton. I'm the Managing Director uh, of National Driver Centre here in South London. I think people should become, or certainly should look at becoming lorry drivers, um, because the industry is changing, the views towards the industry is changing, paying conditions are getting better. I mean, you've got people out earning, solicitors, architects, um, of a job and a career which has never really been seen as high paying. And I think after COVID, a lot of people looked at their own lives and thought, I don't really want to be in an office of nine to five staring at the same walls every day. Um, so that's why that kind of freedom and that change and ever moving scenery has sort of prompted the big change of people moving over into lorry driving. My name is Abdurrahman Mohammed. My age is 43. I'm doing LGV class two tests for today. Previously, I was doing a bus driving. So I've done many years in bus driving but I think it is the right time to switch. It was one of my passion driving and the uh, shortage of drivers has led me to explore new, new things in life. There is quite a lot of involved in the tests and reversing, maneuvering, driving on the road, being aware of what's around you all the time. As anyone would feel, I feel a bit nervous, but I've done many, many maneuvers, so I'm confident that I will make it. It's not easy. It's not easy. I mean, this is a lot of people look at the industry and think, ah, it's an easy job. You know, sit, drive. You know, A to B each day. But there's a lot involved in it, um, and the pass rates aren't incredibly high because it is specialised. It's a skill, and you either have it or you don't. Anybody that drives a car. Will, will know to some degree how difficult it would be to drive a lorry. Bus drivers at the moment are looking at lorry drivers thinking, well, they're earning five to 10,000 pounds, potentially more than me a year, and it could just be a quieter, more well-paid life. So there might be a bit of a, an exodus from the bus industry, but you know that will come out in the wash as time goes on. I am an instructor at the National Driving Centre, a job I enjoy very much. Mostly, I meet a lot of different people, I get invested in them over the week and then it's just nice to uh, help them you know, get on with the next chapter in their life. Abdi, who we just met earlier, worked very hard this week because he really wanted it and he shone through, that shone through on his, on, to the examiner and he's uh, come back with a clean sweep, a absolutely faultless drive. So the lorry pass rate at the moment, fluctuates sort of between 55% and 59% nationally. Um, so yeah, potentially lower than you might have thought previously. It's always sort of been seen as a poorly paid profession, but that's certainly changing at the moment with the driver shortage. And at the moment, it's a bit of a bidding war for drivers. Drivers getting pay rises without being told or without being asked. Um, they're being treated like rock stars right now um, because if you don't pay them what they deserve and they do truly deserve. Um, they'll go somewhere else, to another haulier down the road. It's, it's a really chilled out, relaxed job. If you like being left alone, listening to music and just going for a drive, it's definitely a good job for you. You, you, you know, you've got to deliver it, it's four hours away. Nobody's got to give you any hassle. It's just, off you go. Obviously some of the HGV jobs are better than others, but um, especially when you get up to the class one stuff, it's, it's just a really peaceful way to spend your day.